Very recently, while I was sitting in the hospital, something that I noticed in the cancer ward intrigued me. Many patients sitting in the cancer ward had lost their hair. Well, it is well known that chemotherapy causes hair fall in cancer patients. But I asked myself a question that I never cared to ask before. Why does chemotherapy cause hair fall? Hair loss is a very common problem. It usually occurs due to use of hard water, lack of required nutrition, scalp disease or an unhealthy hair routine. But have you ever wondered why cancer patients lose their hair after treatment? According to the dictionary, chemotherapy or chemo is the use of drugs to stop or slow the growth of cancer cells. But let's dive in deeper. Cancer cells tend to divide very quickly, at a much higher rate than most of the cells in the body. They ignore the signals and mechanisms that tell normal cells to stop dividing. Some normal cells in our body also rapidly divide, like hair follicle cells, mucous membrane cell linings of the digestive tract and the blood producing cells in the bone marrow. Chemotherapy drugs work by targeting rapidly dividing cells. Chemotherapy drugs cannot tell the difference between these normal rapidly dividing cells and cancer cells. So the drug affects these cells as well. They damage the genetic material inside cells that guide cell division. The hair follicles have a good blood supply which unfortunately allows chemotherapy drugs to reach them efficiently. About 65% of people who receive chemotherapy will experience hair loss. The amount of hair loss can depend upon which chemotherapy agent is used, as well as the timing, dose and the route of administration. It can also vary from person to person and it's hard to predict who will be affected most. But it's 2022 and there is a solution to almost everything. Chemotherapy in fact has become targeted now. It doesn't go and attack all the actively dividing cells in your body. Like the sperm cells, like the ovarian cells, like the bone marrow, like the inner lining of the gastrointestinal tract. It has become selective to tumor cells. It is like a smart bomb. It goes directly to the tumor cell and kills it without going to the other sites. Therefore, kills tumor cells in good amounts at no cost at all. I mean, very minimal side effects, maybe a rash or a diarrhea or an occasional gastric upset or asthenia. But apart from that, the other side effects of chemo systemic chemotherapies are not there with the targeted agents. And the commonest ones that we use today to B, we use all the tyrosines, the sunitinib, all the tyrosine kinase inhibitors. In fact, they are coming, they have come in a big way. We use them round the clock. Jefitinib, erlotinib, many of them. Almost all the diseases are getting their share of oral tyrosine kinase inhibitors, which work on them now. They are targeted smart bombs.